Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensh Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. Our previous Shensha Amazing episodes talked about the diseases of the respiratory and circulatory system. If you haven't watched them yet, feel free to check them out. In order to avoid these diseases, we need to detect and prevent them. Pero paano? That's why our Shensha Amazing episode will be talking about the diagnostic tools that we can use to detect the diseases of the respiratory and circulatory system. Kumuha ka na ba ng chest x-ray para sa yung mga requirements sa school o sa trabaho? Ang chest x-ray ay ilan lamang sa mga diagnostic tools na ginagamit para makadetect ng mga diseases ng circulatory at respiratory system. Ngayon, pag-uusapan natin ang mga common diagnostic tools for the diseases of the respiratory and circulatory system. Ano ang diagnostic tools? Ginagamit sila to diagnose o to detect certain respiratory and circulatory diseases. First ay ang chest x-ray. Hindi na tayo bago sa chest x-ray. Isa ito sa mga usual requirements when we enter school. Ano ang chest x-ray? It creates a picture of the structures inside your chest. Sa chest x-ray, makikita natin ang lungs, heart, and blood vessels. Hindi mahirap kumuha ng chest x-ray kasi isa itong painless diagnosis of the respiratory and circulatory system. Ginagamit ito ng mga doktor para makadetect ng pneumonia, lung cancer, or heart failure. Plus, ginagamit din ito before surgery para matingnan ang structure sa loob ng chest. In this picture, we can see different parts as seen in the x-ray photograph. Ang susunod na diagnostic tool na ating pag-uusapan ay ang CT scan. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng CT scan? Ito ay nangangahulugang computerized tomography scan. Ginagamit nito ang x-ray images at computer para makagawa ng detailed images of the body. Nagbibigay ito ng cross-sectional views of the internal organs para mas klaro at mas detailed ang diagnosis ng isang doctor. Ito ay mga examples ng images produced through CT scan. As you can see, cross-sectional ang views ng mga internal organs under this diagnostic tool. Susunod ang pulmonary function test. Ito ay nagsusukat kung how much air o gano'ng karaming air ang kaya ng lungs mo. Bukod doon, ito rin ay nagdadiagnose ng yung airflow into and out of the lungs. Gumagamit ito ng isang instrument na tinatawag na spirometer. Ang susunod na diagnostic tool ay hindi na bago sa atin. Ito ay ang blood pressure test. It measures the pressure in your arteries as your heart pumps blood. Meron tayong dalawang common instruments na ginagamit para makuha ang blood pressure. Pwedeng gamitin ang sphygma manometer, which is the usual pump na makikita natin sa mga hospitals, which is like a pump na usually makikita natin sa mga hospital used by doctors and nurses. For daily use, pwede rin gamitin ang digital BP monitor na pwedeng mabili sa mga pharmacy. Paano malalaman kung mataas o high ang isang blood pressure? We will use this table. Kapag ang systolic pressure mo ay 130 to 139 at ang diastolic pressure mo ay 80 to 89, meron kang stage 1 hypertension. Kapag over 140 naman ang systolic pressure mo, 
at over 90 ang diastolic pressure mo, meron kang stage 2 hypertension. And lastly, kapag 180 or over at 120 or over ang pressures mo, nasa hypertensive crisis ka na. Ang isang taong nasa hypertensive crisis ay merong mataas na risk na ma-stroke. That's why it is important i-monitor natin palagi ang ating blood pressure. Ang susunod na tool na ating pag-uusapan ay ang complete blood count. Ito ay ginagamit para makita ang mga components ng ating blood. Ano nga ulit ang mga components? We have red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. Makikita natin lahat yon sa ating complete blood count. Susunod ay ang electrocardiogram. Isa rin itong painless test na ginagamit para ma-monitor ang ating heart. It records electric signals as they travel your heart. Pwede gamitin ang ECG to diagnose a range of heart conditions. Halimbawa, kapag pumunta ka sa isang cardiologist, isa ang ECG sa mga tools na ginagamit nila para sa iyong diagnosis. The next diagnostic tool is echocardiogram. Huwag tayong malilito sa electrocardiogram kasi sa echocardiogram, sound waves ang ginagamit para makagawa ng images of the heart. Ipinapakita nito kung paano tumitibok ang ating puso at kung paano ito nagpapump ng blood. Ang echocardiogram ay tumutulong para sa diagnosis ng abnormalities in the heart muscles and the valves. The last diagnostic tool that we're going to discuss is cardiac catheterization. Ito ay isang procedure para ma-diagnose at ma-treat ang mga circulatory ailments. Gumagamit ang procedure na ito ng long, thin tube na tinatawag na catheter. Ipinapasok ito sa artery or vein in your groin, neck or arm and then connected sa iyong puso. Before we have a short quiz, magkaroon muna tayo ng quick recap of the diagnostic tools that we discussed today. Here are some common diagnostic tools and procedures that we can use to detect circulatory and respiratory ailments. First, chest x-ray, CT scan, pulmonary function test, blood pressure test, Complete blood count, ECG, echocardiogram, at cardiac catheterization. It's good time! Oras na para sa ating quiz. Magkakaroon tayo ng short 3-minute quiz. Siyempre, pwede nyo i-forward kung tapos na kayo sa quiz. If you're ready, magsimula na tayo.
time's up, i-check natin ang ating mga sagot from items 1 to 5. Number 1. It records electric signals to check for patterns of heartbeats and rhythms. Ang ating keyword ay records electric signals. Kapag electric signals, it is ECG or electrocardiogram. Number 2. A long thin tube inserted in the artery or vein and threaded to your heart. Ito ay thin tube. It is catheter. Number 3. It provides cross-sectional view of the internal organs. Ang ating keyword dito ay cross-sectional view. Katulad ng nakita natin kanina in one of the examples. Anong diagnostic to ito? CT scan o computerized tomography scan. Number 4. It measures how much air your lungs can hold. The key phrase is air your lungs can hold. It is pulmonary function test. Take note, pulmonary refers or pertains to the lungs. Number 5. It uses sound waves to produce images of the heart. Ang ating clue dito ay sound waves. Kung kanina, electric signals, this time, sound waves ang ginagamit to produce images. Kapag sound waves, it is echocardiogram. Echo, sound. That ends our 5-item quiz. Huwag mahiyang i-comment ang yung score over 5 in the comment section below para ma-check namin ito. Thanks for the support! That ends our Shansh Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!